A woman is fertile or able to get pregnant for six days out of each cycle, five days leading up to ovulation when your body releases an egg that could then be fertilized by sperm and on the day of ovulation. And the reason why you have that five day window prior to ovulation is because sperm can actually live inside a woman's reproductive system for three to five days. So if you have intercourse any time leading up to ovulation, then that egg could then be fertilized by sperm. Ovulation does have to happen for pregnancy to occur because that's when your body releases the egg that can then meet up with the sperm. And ovulation usually happens 12 to 16 days before your next period is going to begin or about mid-cycle. So it depends on how long your cycles are and most women who are having regular cycles um, will have cycles anywhere from 25 to 35 days in length from the, the beginning of one period to the beginning of the next. So as you can see, if your cycles were 28 days long, then you'd probably ovulate around day 14. But if they're 35 days long, then you may not be ovulating until around day 18. So um, it varies greatly depending on your cycle length. And you did mention that you don't really know when you're having periods. They're very irregular. And this is probably going to make it harder for you to get pregnant because um, for one, we don't know if you're ovulating and that's probably the biggest issue. And then if you are, you have no idea when because if your periods are, are irregular, you don't know how to track and try to time intercourse with ovulation. There are ways to track it more closely um, other than just watching your cycles. You can um, measure your basal body temperature each morning before you get out of bed and there will be a slight increase the day after ovulation and this helps you look back in retrospect and try to pinpoint when you're ovulating. You can also use ovulation prediction kits, which detect a surge in LH hormone associated with ovulation. And you can also track cervical mucus changes. Around the time of ovulation, it becomes a little more slippery, a little more clear. And so if you notice that, then you might be ovulating. But all in all, I recommend that you talk with your doctor and they can discuss this issue with you and decide if further treatment is necessary that will help you achieve your dreams of having a baby. Sometimes your periods have to be regulated first and then you can try to conceive again. I hope the very best for you. And if you have any other questions for me in the future, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash intermountain moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.